Now, I want somebody to come to the stand today. We need volunteers. That's right. Yes. Yes, yes. You say that you got the best job. You say that you got the best man, lady. Let me tell you. All you need is God in your life. I'm talking about Jesus. That's all you need in your life is God. You see what I'm saying? And I'm past the Pharisee right now talking to you. And I just want you to know. All you need is God in your life. You need that job, but you really need God more. What happened if you lose that job? Let me tell you, Pastor Ferris lost all his jobs, but all he needed was Jesus. Okay? Come on, come on up. Come on up front. Somebody else, come on up front. Who who do I have up front? Oh, 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 this is a good one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, man. This guy said he lost all his jobs. Lost his house, lost his cars. He said he lost all his girls. They, he said he was on the streets. He, he was holding up a sign. Oh, church, this this guy, he, he, he watched people die in front of him. He been in the gangs and he carried a gun himself and church he said that he wanted to take his own life listen son I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I've been past the Ferris you know I've not been in those type of situations but I have been in a situation with losing all my jobs and I have been in a situation when I was feeling like I was broke that I had nowhere to go but you know what I want you to take this back to your chair. All I needed was God. You see what I'm saying? I told God, you know, my situation, and he understand me. You see, I talk to God because that's all I need in my life. You know, I really don't have friends. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes when you put yourself in a predicament and you put your life in somebody else's hands, that's when you lose your life. You see what I'm saying? You see, when I lost my life like that, I put my life in God's hands and I was able to find my life. A lot of people ain't able to do that. A lot of people ain't really got that much faith. And as a Pharisee, I just thought people know that I got that much faith. When you, you know, Jesus said, you can clean the inside of your cup, but if you don't clean the outside of your cup, then guess what? Actually, church, I said that backwards. I, I passed the Pharisee, said it backwards. Jesus said that you can wash the outside of your body, but the inside of your body is filthy and dirty. So I'm telling you like this. You can do stones at a glass house. I mean, when I say a glass house, we're talking about the cars. We're talking on the outside. We're talking about the house itself. We're talking about... Really, what's inside the house is matters, you see what I'm saying? Because we have to have faith. We have to believe in somebody.